um, the concept of human rights can really have both short and long-term impact on the business. For international business, uh, we learn from a um, story that um, a number of multinational corporations need to understand their concept of due diligence of um, human rights. They need to understand the process whereby they employ, they recruit, they retain, and they really keep the quality of work for their staff. Right? Uh, when they operate from one place to another, we understand that there might be differences in regulations and expectations on the um, workplace, workforce, and condition of work. But at least, they have to understand the basic or minimum requirement from organizations such as the International Labor Organization or the local government. Human rights can also be seen from the perspectives of uh, people as part of the, the value chain. For instance, if you understand the value chain in each part of that, from bringing resources to the marketing and consume, consuming of the product, how do you define people who take part in the business transaction? Second, what kind of action that you work or you engage with them? We have just listened to the story of um, ESG, in particular social issues from the perspective of big business. When it comes to startups, founder of startups might hear this term again, ESG or sustainability. And as I mentioned, they might think uh, just another buzzwords that are not relevant to their startups. However, those who keep up with um, the trends and regulations in most part in the world, in particular in terms of international investment, we realize that these issues are increasingly considering as the um, major or essential driver for success in today's global markets. Okay. Um, on the flip side, poor ESG, in particular social practices, can lead to significant drops in customer growth, um, lower number in investment, increase in legal expenses, and in extreme cases, I mentioned permanent loss or legal license to operate. The social factors relevant to nearly all startups include um, a lot of issues beyond human rights as mentioned in the previous section. I would like to focus on the data protection, cyber security, as evidenced by high profile incidents in recent years business that fail to institute and implement proper systems for the protection and proper handling of consumer personal data will face an increasing risk of consumer backlash, regulatory penalties, and loss of enterprise value. Community relations and social inclusions also fall under the social aspect of the ESG. For instance, businesses that sell ethically or sustainably sourced products employ persons with disabilities or people of diverse background or those who were marginalized in the system engage in philanthropy tend to be viewed more favorably among an increasing proportion of consumers in most part in the world. There have been instances of ill-advised business or startup running advertising campaign that inadvertently carry racially insensitive message or uh, discuss issue without uh, sensitivity and receive increasingly vocal backlash from the public.